Two and a half years after being ravaged by an earthquake, the island nation of Haiti is still struggling to get back on its feet. Last month, Hurricane Isaac served as a painful reminder of Haiti's troubles. Despite a flood of humanitarian aid from around the world, Haiti's infrastructure remains weak. Roughly 400,000 people are still living in makeshift housing in tents. With us in their first ever joint interview are the president of Haiti, Michel Martelly, and uh, Haitian Prime Minister Laurent Lamothe. Both are here for the UN General Assembly and spoke at the Clinton Global Initiative. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Um, as you know, I mean, on this program at CNN and in the United States, in the, in the months and now years since the earthquake, our hearts have been with the Haitian people as you try to rebuild. And I was struck by, as Hurricane Isaac was coming, was coming through, we were watching it on the radar. Our own reporters were in Haiti telling people that this new storm was coming, and many people couldn't leave. They wouldn't leave their tents or they wouldn't leave where they were because they didn't have another option, and they wanted, they just were not really prepared for another a natural disaster. So I'm, I'm curious, sir, what, where are we now in terms, how well could Haiti um, withstand another natural disaster? Are things better than they were just a couple of years ago? I will say that we are very happy where we are today. When we first came in power, one year after the earthquake, we had about 1.5 million people still under the tents. And today that number is down to about 300,000. And it tells you how far we came and how well we're doing. Uh, so you were elected president after the, uh, right after after the, the earthquake. earthquake. And when I came into power, first of all, during campaign, I promised to the people that I would take them out of the tents. And uh, after promising, we started working. So we came into power ready for this job. And barely one year after I came in power, we about have only three, 300,000 people under the tents, and we, we're still moving. 300,000 people under the tents. Where are you moving them to? How well are you building out the infrastructure? We have a very well elaborated program, and that's why it takes time, because we don't just pay them to get out. We either rehabilitate their homes that have been destroyed, or we pay a, a whole year for them so they can have a better place to stay. Mr. Prime Minister, I know that you suffered loss of life after that uh, Hurricane Isaac. How well... Um, how well is the island prepared now? Well, right now we're better prepared. We have a, a very strong uh, risk, disaster and prevention management program. Yesterday we had a meeting with the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations on this. Um, we have, I mean, right now we're investing uh, public funds and putting it into the public budget to be better prepared financially for it. We have the support of several countries uh, to come and assist us into uh, the disaster uh, prevention and management uh, strategy that we have. I mean, Haiti is build, we're building 10 hurricane shelters, which never existed in the country. Right now, next year, we'll have a place to take the people into shelters and, and into assisting them. So many of our, our reporters who were in Haiti for Hurricane Isaac, what they were telling us was that some of those people in the tents, some of the 300,000 people, they didn't even know the storm was coming. And even if they did, they had nowhere to go. How do you fix that problem? Well, first of all, I will say that they were aware of it, except that they felt uh, alone. And we did our best by taking the, 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 the kids and the women mm -hmm. to schools so they could spend that moment there. Uh, it wasn't easy. It was the very first. And in Haiti, trying to do this type of uh, movement uh, they were never done before. It's like on a, the education system, we're having problems today, but we have been able to put more than a million kids in school. Uh, people will complain about schools not having been paid yet, but uh, they must understand that this is a program that started one year ago, and we will, we will encounter problems. I know that um, the United Nations Office of the Special Envoy uh, for Haiti, which is run by Bill Clinton, announced that um, they've got 2.8 billion dollars dispersed um, uh, into the recovery effort, another two and a half billion still available. Do you feel like progress is being made, that the money is being used wisely? Because in this country, there's a big election year debate about foreign aid, uh, aid that is spent in other countries that, you know, some Americans feel like they don't see results. Well, in a country where everything is to be done, I think 4.8 billion dollars uh, is kind of small. and. Right after the earthquake, we had evaluated our need at about $12 billion. So $4.5 billion, $4.8 is kind of small. And we, I must tell you that right after the earthquake, that money was used to feed people, to take care of them, so it wasn't really engaged in reconstruction. 
uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, Lerner Lamoth, uh, President Martelli, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's great to have you.